Hello and welcome to the latest episode of the Low Budget Review Show. I'm your host, Eric Smith, and today I am talking about Fukushu, Damaged Woman of Violence. Uh, it's very hard to see that title there. There it is. Uh, this is by Colleen Wangland. Not sure if that's how you pronounce her name. I do love that cover. Uh, and this book originally came out quite some time ago. 2014 okay it's not that long ago 2014 it was a limited edition uh, there were only 25 copies printed it was from Dynatox Ministries was the publisher uh, so there were only 25 copies which is why I've never reviewed this before but I just found out there is a second edition that is an unlimited edition it is available uh, so I figured hey since people can now get it, I might as well review it. So, uh, this book, uh, first of all, Fukushu, and any of these uh, Japanese words that I say I may be horribly mispronouncing, and I apologize for that, but, uh, and again, you can't really see that. There you go, Fukushu. Um, I looked it up. Uh, there seem to be multiple definitions, but the most appropriate one for this story uh, is revenge. And this is definitely a revenge story. Uh, we meet right off the bat, we meet Pia, who is a young girl. She and her friend are kidnapped by uh, the Yakuza and uh, forced into sexual slavery. Uh, so it's it's a revenge story for Pia, and but we also have uh, Tomoko Kimura. Uh, Tomoko Kimura, again, not sure about exact pronunciations here. Anyway, Tomoko is uh, married to the head of this particular group of yakuza. Uh, there are higher bosses, but he's a pretty big boss. Uh, but he's been ill, so Tomoko has been running this branch, we'll call it, of the Yakuza. And she wants to maintain her power. And she, her right-hand man is Hamada. And he's the guy that lured Pia and her friend uh, into... Um, well, they thought they were just going to have a good time. But he's the guy that brought them into the sexual slavery. And so uh, we have all these characters and we have Pia trying to uh, survive the situation she's in as well as prepare herself for uh, an escape. She's trying to get away. She wants revenge on these people. And there's some, there are power struggles within this, uh, this particular group of the Yakuza as Tomoko tries to maintain her position and... Hamada is sort of torn between uh, Pia and Tomoko and loyalty and uh, different things. So uh, for such a, this is a very, very short book. Um, 55 pages of story, uh, which is good since the, uh, the new edition is only $5.00. But uh, there's a lot packed into this. We, we learn a lot about the characters. And it's, it's a very bloody, violent, uh, sexually explicit story. Um, excuse me. <coughs> Pardon me. <clears throat> uh, it has a Quentin Tarantino feel to it. I could easily see him. Uh, making this into a film. It's, it seems like his kind of story. Uh, the characters are interesting. Uh, it's, it's well written. There are a few rough patches. There are some sentences uh, that uh, feel a little rough to me, but this I think this might be uh, her first, Colleen Wangland's first, uh, it does say it's her debut novella. So um, you can expect, especially from a small press, you can sometimes expect a few rough patches, but nothing uh, really bad. Just uh, a few sentences I stumbled over a little bit, 
but uh, the story no no huge plot holes no continuity errors uh, it's just a well written uh, well ish written um, fascinating violent story of uh, empowerment and revenge and um, power and an interesting look at uh, another culture um, again being so short not sure how much to say about it um, wow, definitely violent very very violent book um, both sexually and um, with revengey type things um, so be warned about that but um, I do give this I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see this uh, wasn't sure what to draw for this but I went with um, a four out of five katanas uh, and you might say but that looks like five out of five and that's because uh, well you might notice this one doesn't have the yellow and it's not really colored in except for the the handle um, it's supposed to be four out of five just take my word for it uh, um, not the greatest drawings but um, yeah for five bucks uh, if you like say things like Kill Bill um, I say pick this up and give it a read I'll have a link for it I'm gonna have to to find it it's, uh, it's still not published by any big publisher but it is available uh, so uh, I say pick it up it's quick I read it in one quick sitting um, definitely and a fascinating tale I want to see what's next from Colleen Wangland uh, hopefully I'm saying her name correctly um, but I'll have a link I'll, uh, like I said, I'll, I'll, I'll look it up. I think I bookmarked it. I'll have a link for this book in the description below if you want to pick it up and check it out. Uh, if you have any comments, questions, or corrections, please put them in the comments below. Comments are open for spoilers. Uh, just post a spoiler warning. I know I didn't get too much into what goes on here, but again, when, when you're 55 pages, uh, the more you talk about, the more you're going to give away because there's it's just so short but it is worth a read um, so comments below uh, please like share and subscribe and that's it for this episode of the low budget review show I have been your host Eric Smith and until next time read more books